Hello and welcome to WMT Reviews, I am Wise Man Tanofsky, and today we are moving on to the next part of our Age of Extinction series with this Age of Extinction Voyager class, Grimlock. Now we get the fluff out of the way nice and quickly, in this continuity, Grimlock and the Dinobots were the legendary knights held prisoner aboard Lockdown's ship. Supposedly some form of ancient race of super gladiators, who for some reason transform into dinosaurs. Grimlock, being their leader, transforms into the king of the dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure's dinosaur mode is probably the best you're going to get out of all the available figures. The leader class is horribly proportioned. The flip and change Grimlock is awful. This figure is probably the best you're going to get out of all of them. Does that make it a perfect figure? No, of course not. Now, the figure does have a gimmick in this mode, which is this awful eyesore of a trigger here, which will open and close his mouth. Uh, like a lot of people, I would have preferred it if his mouth started closed and came open like the old Fall of Cybertron Grimlock. That would have been better, I think. Now, in terms of aesthetics, it's a rather nice-looking figure. The paint job is okay in some areas and not okay in others. Areas where it's okay are the sort of tiger-style bronze with black stripes. I really like that colour scheme. That's nice. And also, the gunmetal silver on some of the areas are okay. The bits that I don't like are the dull grey areas. In fact, I'm probably going to take some paint to these teeth and sort of bring them out in a more glittery metal colour. The black, okay with the black. The black's fine. And there's some more of it over here, the dull sort of not shiny metal on the tail. Now, in dinosaur mode, the figure does suffer from a little bit of stability problems. I mean, you can see here, he's not 100% standing flat. And I've tried posing him every way I can think of to try and make him stand flat, but he's so heavy on the front because of how far back the legs need to be. One bit that I do like are the eyes. Those are crazy. Gotta love the crazy eyes. Now, in dinosaur mode, you are awarded small amounts of posability. The legs will go forwards and backwards. You can bend the knee there, and the feet have got this little posability bit on there. You could, if you wanted to, stretch this bit out, but if you do it too far, the fist comes out. His little arms here are on ball joints, and you can sort of move the chest out as well, if you like. You are also able to open the mouth further for a more fierce-looking roar, rather than just having his jaw hanging open. Now, Grimlock's transformation is very similar to Evasion Mode Optimus Prime's. Complex, but satisfying. Split the head here, and refold it all the way back. Arrgh. Sort of spread this whole thing out and reveal the legs there. Clamp down the chest there. Come to this mess of stuff at the back here, and fold the whole thing up and pass the hump between the two shoulder pads. Coming now to the arms, unpeg this bit, spin it around, fold away the st stabilizer, and peg it in to the forearm. Move these little dino arms out of the way, and peg the chest into the legs. Do the same on this arm, out, spin, fold, and peg. Unpeg the legs, fold out the feet, and you're more or less done. Now in his robot mode, Grimlock looks mean. He looks mean, he looks powerful, he just looks great. And he looks a little bit short, to be honest. He is quite short. Because of his shoulder pads, he does stand taller than Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime comes up to about here on him. But still, I would have liked this figure to be bigger. And this is where the leader class does come through a bit, because the robot mode looks incredible, and it does stand very tall. Not as tall as original leader class figures, but taller than this. Now, posability-wise, there are a lot of options for you. The head will turn ever so slightly on here. You, you are able to move the dinosaur shoulder pads out of the way to pose the arms. The arms go all the way out and go all the way round until they bump into the dinosaur head at about this sort of angle. Now, because his arms are his legs, there is a lot of posability in them. There is a bicep swivel, a bend at the elbow, no posability in his fists, and he does suffer from gorilla arm syndrome, so if that's something you don't like, 
don't get the figure, because you won't like it. Because of how his chest transforms, there is no posability in the chest. The legs will go forward, this flap will move out of the way for you, they will go back, and they will go out about this far before the arms bump into the chest up here. There is a thigh swivel at the top of the leg here, there is a very tight bend in the elbow, and the feet will pivot back and forth as part of the transformation into the tail. Now, Grimlock may be a very poseable figure, but he is also rather top-heavy. That makes posing him slightly more difficult than Optimus Prime. Accessories-wise, he is supplied with a weapon, but it is utterly pointless. It's this giant mace thing, which looks awful and is awful, frankly. It's just dreadful. It does slot into his hand here, but it doesn't really serve much purpose. I mean, it's good for standing poses. You can stand with him like holding his mace like this and looking all imposing, but as soon as you want to pose him like wielding it, not really going to happen, because he holds it all the way up here just beneath the mace, so there isn't really much swing in it. And of course, without the wrists being able to rotate, you're not really going to get a lot out of it. Not, neither can you have him holding it with two hands because the fists are closed, so you can't get the fist around it. It's a hideous weapon, I don't like it at all, and it's gonna go over there. Is there a better weapon for Grimlock to hold? Why, yes. Yes, there is. All in all, this is not a bad figure of Grimlock at all. The colour scheme's nice, the posability's decent, the dino mode is better than you're gonna get from any other Grimlock figure. But, he's too small. He is too small, and the lack of posability in the wrists is a real problem. So for that, unfortunately, I do have to score him slightly below Optimus Prime, with a 6.5 on the Orsometer. He's not a bad figure at all, but he just doesn't inspire much satisfaction, really. He, you open him up, and he is what he is. That, that's, that's it, there's no surprises, it's just an okay figure of Grimlock. So that's a 6.5 on the Orsometer for Age of Extinction Voyager class Grimlock. I've been Wise Mantanowski, this has been WMT Reviews.